Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of the book Lean Media and host of the unofficial Amazon Deep Dive for Publishers, a video series that explains Amazon programs that publishers can use to leverage uh, and expand their publishing businesses. And today I'm going to be talking about a feature of Amazon advertising. And this feature can actually be used by publishers or it can be used by any type of seller who is using Amazon advertising. And here is my Amazon advertising dashboard uh, for the past few weeks and I have probably about 300 different campaigns and today I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio. This is a feature I think that Amazon launched late last year, maybe early this year and you can see it when you go into the campaigns area and it'll say create a portfolio and I have one here called Easy Genie. So for your reference I have uh, two different I have two different brands um, actually several different brands, more than two now. Uh, but the two main brands are Easy Genie, which is uh, something that I use Amazon with Amazon Seller. And then I have a book series called In 30 Minutes Guides, which is something that I started on Amazon KDP and I've expanded it into a big book series. And what portfolios do is it makes it much easier to organize your campaigns if you have a lot of them or maybe they're focused on a special uh, thing. So for instance, Easy Genie, this portfolio called Easy Genie, it's all of my uh, campaigns, both running and not running, that I've created for the brand. So I can see right here that I have um, a, headline, a sponsored brand ad, I have some sponsored product ads, um, I even have a few product display ads in there. And when I click on it, it just shows everything at once. And then I can either browse it manually or I can search for something within the campaign. But let's say I want to create another another campaign. So the way that, uh, not campaign, another portfolio. So the way you do it is you click create a portfolio and it says organize your campaigns by business line, product category or season and manage total spending with budget caps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a portfolio for a specific product, not the brand, but for the product, home buying guy. Okay. Create a portfolio. So what it what it does it shows you the portfolio and right now I don't have anything there's no campaigns in there so I need to add campaigns click that button and then put your cursor here in the search and then what you can do is you can actually start browsing them and I can see a couple of the campaigns I want to I want to add so I'm just going to here right the first one this one at the top here I'm just going to click add here's another one I'm going to add that one I don't see any more in the list here, but what I can do is I can actually just start searching for them because when I name my campaigns, here's a top tip, I either use the name of the main, the primary keyword for that product. So home buying in 30 minutes, the keyword is homes. So it shows three more campaigns that haven't been added. So I'm gonna add those as well. Some people, when they name their campaigns, they may use an ISBN or a SKU or an ASIN or something like that. I just use the, the, the English name for it because I can never remember what the ISBNs are. So, whoops. So there's a, there's, an, it's a, there's a message here. Add sponsored products and sponsored brand campaigns that aren't currently in another portfolio. Okay, so uh, maybe I'm gonna just remove those for the time being. I can add them later on. Okay, so here's my new here's my new portfolio, Home Buying Guide, and I've just added two titles to that. So that means when I want to just quickly look at and see what's in the campaign, um, I can just do that. And then I can you know either check out the data for it, like see how it's performing. I can copy it. And it makes it much easier because if you look at all my campaigns, I think I have something like 300 campaigns or maybe even more than that, both active and not active. It would just take me a lot. Yeah, I have 341 campaigns. So just manually going through this or searching all the time, that's not an efficient way to do it. It's much better to have a portfolio that makes it easier to organize everything. To learn more about how to optimize and expand your publishing business, check out my videos in Deep Dive available from leanmedia.org. And thank you so much for watching.